This is a video about removing phosphates from your pool. What are phosphates? Phosphates are food for algae. So on their own, having them in the pool is not harmful to you as the swimmer. Um, the problem is, is when your phosphates increase, there is a higher likelihood of an algae bloom or other problems occurring in your pool. The recommended range for phosphates is between 0 and 100 parts per billion. Currently, my phosphates are at a very high level, 1,530. I know there are pool owners out there that have probably never treated for phosphates. Um, this is just my personal opinion, but I do feel like phosphates should be treated because there was a time where we neglected to treat them. What ended up occurring is our phosphates went up to over 4,000 and then we started having a lot of problems like the test strip readings were incorrect, for example. Um, I think it can affect your chlorine reading. We also started having um, metal staining in the pool, which I'm not sure was related to the high phosphates. From my personal experience, what I've learned is that you should treat your phosphates if they get too high. Phosphates are coming from the water you use to fill up your pool. Um, they come from chemicals you use in your pool, fertilizers, and I, I think, you know, they can even come from, you know, the dust in the air. Before you do the treatment, I recommend brushing your pool and also just checking that your water is in balance. So since my phosphates are even higher than the highest number here on the dosage guide, I'm probably gonna have to do this treatment twice. So I'm going with this dosage here, which is 1,000 parts per billion, and our pool is 7,800 gallons. So I'm going between the eight ounces and the 16 ounces. So I'm going to put 12 ounces of this product into the pool. It actually has a little handy measuring lines on the side, and each of those is two ounces. Pump is running and I'm just going to spread this around the pool. The pool will turn cloudy after you add this product. If the filter pressure on here goes up too high or if you notice in your jets that the water isn't coming out as it normally should, um, you need to clean your filter. I'm going to keep the pump running the entire time and I'm going to continue to come out and check on. This is nearly 24 hours later. You can see that the pool has started to clear up and you can see the pile of dead phosphates at the bottom. Here is the pool after 48 hours. I just took the handheld vacuum right here and vacuumed the entire pool. I recommend using a handheld vacuum to do this. If you use the manual vacuum, you'll be vacuuming the dead phosphates into your filter. I've done this in the past where I did not have a handheld vacuum and it still works out just fine. Pump is turned off. And I am going to now clean the cartridge filter. It actually surprisingly didn't get that dirty. I do think that having a skimmer sock helps and also having a handheld vacuum to vacuum out the debris in the pool also really helps. Or whatever filter you have, you need to clean the filter. So I've cleaned the cartridge filter and now I'm just going to turn the pump back on. After you treat for phosphates, you need to retest your phosphates. You could take a water sample into your local pool store to be tested, or another option is to use a test kit, such as this one. According to this test kit, it looks like it still has some phosphates in the pool. It looks like on this chart, it's at the 0.25. So I just took it into the pool store just to double check. So it's pretty much what I thought it would be compared to the other tests. So the current phosphates are now 201. So I've brought it down quite a bit. I'm still going to repeat the treatment just to get it within the recommended range.